everyone, and uh, welcome to my second episode on Science, Geekery, and Awesomeness. I'm JJ Billings, and um, I don't have a lot of time this week. Uh, I wanted to tell you um, about some new equipment for my rig and why I had to get it. Uh, I'm a little busy this weekend because I have a demonstration for my project uh, a little later in the week, and I'm pretty psyched about it. We get to show off some cool stuff that we have happening with the Moose framework, and uh, we get to show off a little bit about uh, what NICE can do, and you know, kind of some of the cool stuff. Uh, it, you know, I'm working on the weekend. I'm a scientist. That what we do. That's what we do, um, and uh, it's all worth it in the end. Um, in the meantime, though, I had to cancel uh, the Pathfinder session with my buddies this week. Uh, when we play Pathfinder, I'm on the hook to DM, and we play an evil campaign. And that's actually a pretty fun experience if you haven't done it before. In the past few weeks, we had actually been playing uh, Savage Worlds. And I just got this guy. This is the Deluxe Explorers Edition. I'll tell you all about this in another video. Um, so, uh, extra equipment that I had to get. That's what I really want to tell you about today. Um, you remember in the last video how I said I take the audio and I strip it and I, I reprocess it to beef it up? So I did that for last week's video, which was a little over 15 minutes, and I used FFmpeg to process the audio. FFmpeg is a great program, it's highly parallel, and it works great. Um, in fact, um, on my server, which you can't see, um, there it's an 8-core machine with a with a 8-core AMD chip and 32 gigs of RAM and an NVIDIA GTX 770. So it's got some, some power. And FFmpeg turned on all eight cores of the chip and sent the uh, CPU temperature to 172 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty hot. Uh, for any European viewers, that is about 81 degrees Celsius. And I'm used to this happening with that machine all the time. It's, it's why I built it. But I do it with my science codes for about 30 seconds or a minute. I rarely run it for 15 minutes straight at that temperature. Uh, the machine shut down twice. Uh, eventually, I got it to work when I got the temperature to 169 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I had, let's see, I had, a, I had a fourth fan pointed right on the CPU. I had a fifth fan, a box fan, just getting more cool air over to it. And then I had the AC for the house just spinning on, on full to get cold air into the room. I finally got it. It took a lot of work and I checked out my old fans and realized that they just, they just weren't, uh, really doing it anymore. So I ordered some new fans. I ordered some, uh, brand new fans off of Newegg and I wanted to show those to you. The, this is a, uh, a Vortex HDB by Cougar. Uh, it's a pretty nice fan. Uh, it was about uh, about 17 bucks. Um, it's 120 millimeters across. Um, it's 1200 RPM, which is pretty cool. And it's 17.7 uh, .7 decibels. So at that size, it's a really quiet fan. It's pushing a whole lot of air, but it's really quiet. And and that's what I was that's what I was really wanting. My machine sounds like a jet engine right now. Um, you won't be able to hear it because I cancel all that out when I do the processing. Um, but this guy here will hopefully make it sound a lot quieter. Um, actually, I got two of them. Got two of them. I need one for each each major fan on it. And uh, here's what the fan looks like itself. Uh, it's it's a pretty neat fan, and it has a separate. A separate uh, power supply cable if you want to actually plug it into your power supply unit. And it comes with, of course, screws and, and mounting bolts. Or uh, some little mounting things. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'm going to put those in there and I will, I'll let you know how they work. Uh, <laughs> we'll see, you know. Uh, it's hard to keep a computer cool when you're doing that much work with it. When you have eight CPUs going that fast. Um, but that's it. That's all I really wanted to cover. Uh, I had a question from Jason on Facebook, and Jason asked, what types of future episodes will we have, and will there be guests? So the answer to guests is yes. Uh, I don't know who yet. Uh, but as far as future episodes go, I'm going to have one where I talk about gaming. Um, and uh, so, you know, Pathfinder, Savage Worlds, that type of thing. 
and kind of what we're doing, my buddies and I, um, with gaming. And then uh, hopefully um, after that, I'll have a video um, with Paul Lewis from the physics department at the University of Tennessee. They have a planetarium there that Paul has spent a lot of time building, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can convince Paul to let me uh, do a little filming with him there in the planetarium, which would be pretty cool, and it'd be good to get a, a science video out. Um, so that's the plan. Um, I think um, after the demo this week, I'll most likely take next weekend off and, and just chill and drink good beer and, and play Pathfinder. Um, and then probably the weekend after that, I'll do the, I'll do the first, uh, I'll do the next video on gaming or, or the planetarium. As far as other ideas after that, I don't really know. Um, so we'll see. And, uh, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, as far as this video goes, I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel on YouTube or leaving me some feedback on Twitter. Um, whatever you want to do works. And um, I hope you enjoy uh, what's left of your weekend. And if you're in East Tennessee like me, um, you don't get hit too hard by the storm. So thanks very much and have a good one. See ya.